unmonitored mines in the DRC. It's crawling with children working like modern day slaves. A 12 hour long day of punishing work may earn them the equivalent of a pound. Although one of the poorest countries on earth, DRC is rich in minerals. But a history of brutal colonial exploitation looks like being repeated now in 2017. Much of it's mined by hand with rudimentary tools in harsh, potentially hazardous conditions. Hey, uh, Shalom, uh, giving all praise unto Yabashim, Ashabashim, Koha, Kodash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honest you brothers to be pushing his truth in sincerity for at the four corners of the earth. So I've just played the intro to that particular video, and then we're going to go back to that video uh, before I go into the precepts. Um, but that should give you enough of a premise as to what topic we're going to be dealing with here. And I'm going to go in, into a handful of articles to show you one, to show you that the scriptures as it pertains unto the Red Hebrew Edomite, or on point. Um, this man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? Devil meaning deceiver, which is going to deceive the entirety of the planet now into the next boogeyman over the next... Well, we don't know how we're going to... Uh, you know, you know we, we hasten the day, but they got the so-called 2030 um, agenda thing. They could speed that up or, you know, whatever whatever the situation is. Um, but one of the plans that they got out here within the UK is to get rid of the uh, sale of um, uh, internal combustion uh, cars um, by uh, 2030. And um, that's basically going to mean um, a lot of uh, cars are going to be produced out here or they're, they're going to sell that's going to be allowed to be sold in 2030. Not, not saying we're going to get to that point at all, but I'm just saying uh, what, the, what the plan is out here within the UK are going to be um, uh, battery operated. Now, when you go into um, biochemistry and you go into um, uh, understanding the elements, pretty much when you look at a lithium ion, um, it's very good at um, discharging and um, capturing electrical energy or an, an, or an electron, right? When you get down to the atoms. And as a result, it becomes a, a very good um, element for battery storage, energy storage. And alongside that, cobalt is also used in the manufacture of said batteries, right? So the demand for batteries out here, whether it be within phones, laptops, you know, everybody's working from home now. So they gotta have a, a, a battery in everything. You gotta have a battery in your phone, you gotta have a battery in your laptop, you gotta have a battery in your in your in your tablet, right? Everything has got its own battery, right? And most importantly, you know, your, your highest priced consumable good which is your vehicle, that's supposedly going to have the biggest battery of them all. Or well, that all comes at a cost. And again, you got to remember, this is all a great deception, right? This is all a great deception to fool you into thinking that there is a, a, a problem with the, with the earth and the earth is heating up. Now, if you were speaking about air quality, yeah, I could, I could give you that for a certain amount of time. I could give you that air quality may be not the greatest, but certainly when it comes to um, uh, the warming of the planet, uh, that's been proven time and time and again that's, that that's not true. Matter of fact, when you look at history and you look at the carbon dioxide deposits within fossil, n not fossils as Esau says, fossils like millions and millions of years ago, but fossils as in the, the remnants of um, creatures that the most I had on the earth in the last couple of thousand years, uh, when you had um, uh, large amounts of carbon dioxide deposits within the air, you had a, um, an increase in animals, right? Trees were bigger. And that makes sense because trees breathe in what? They breathe in um, uh, uh, carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. So if there's an abundance of oxygen within the air because the trees are breathing in carbon dioxide, well, guess what's going to happen, man? You're going to have a situation where uh, there's going to be an increase in uh, um, animals within the earth. And we read stories like that about King David, and I believe it was King David, but certainly within the ancient world, you had to have two strong men to carry out uh, the task of um, getting a cl cluster of grapes which is a, a great and beautiful thing to know that the earth could sustain uh, life like that. I mean, he sort of bangs on about the dinosaurs and we're going to learn the mysteries of the dinosaurs when the kingdom set up. And it certainly won't know millions of years ago. But whatever happened to the dinosaurs, the most has got the secrets and he's going to reveal his secrets when we get into the kingdom. That's why we say we, we, we teach in part, but the part we know is perfect. Okay, the part we do know is perfect, but we do teach in part. And those large creases that the most has had, well, some of them are already here on the earth. 
Okay, Esau might put his own spin to it and show you a lizard, but that large lizard, which I believe that's what the, what the word dinosaur means, that large lizard, going back into the ancient world because there was an abundance of carbon dioxide and oxygen and all of these elements within the air, um, you had bigger creatures. So you might look at something right now and you think, okay, oh, that's, that's tiny, that's small, but within the ancient world, that might have been 10 times bigger. And that's where you get the, the, these, you know, this, the, you know, the large, large lizards, right? So continuing here, we see that cobalt, right, which is one of the elements used um, to um, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, to, as a solution to the, to the deception of the world warming up, which is going to be, again, like I said, that's going to be the next boogeyman, right? That's going to be the replacement, all in addition to the C-19, but it's certainly there for the control of the people, because with an with a, with a internal combustion engine, or an ice engine for shortening, you could get around anybody, Right, you could you could jump in your car and fill up and fill up and fill up until you reach your destination. So it's all another form of control. And what uh, one of the brothers have pointed out within their channels, um, they said, look, there's a reason why um, it looks like these this target is not going to be achieved. This green energy target is not going to be achieved. It's because it's all been set up not to be achieved, so that there's a desperation amongst the people. Right, there's a desperation amongst the people in order to access resources, which ultimately you're going to see that the elite banking families they're going to have the ultimate resources, which is the people of the earth. Right, they're going to offer them the the, the revelations, the thirteenth chapter, and the sixteenth verse, in trade for their freedoms, so that they could have access to these goodies at a quarter. Okay, again, like I said, this is all a, a deception, man. This is all a deception, and one of the key elements in this great deception. Is cobalt in order in order for them to make their um so called um their so called uh, uh, batteries right? So what we see is that Congo is um the biggest producer right of this cobalt, which is necessary for the production of uh, electrical batteries. Um, now where is the first article that I had? Okay, so what I might do. I might just put cobalt, cobalt here and come back to it. All right, cobalt. And I'll do in Congo. So cobalt mining in Congo, it says more than 70% of the world's cobalt is produced in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, now, this is good because I can just go backwards. And if I go backwards, so... The production of an electrical vehicle, vehicle, right? EV. So the average price of an EV here within the UK says the cheapest smart ones are 17,000, right? Non-luxury, 26,000, of which 26,000 represents really more of the accurate price. But really more people more people buy between 26,000 and 40,000 40, worth of, um, uh, worth of uh, um, EV, which is a hell of a lot of money for a consumer but good. I remember a time where you could pick up a car, a brand new car for like 15, 16,000. You could get a Fiesta or a Focus for about 18,000. Now they're trying to sell you cars for like 26,000. Why? Because it's got all of this technology in there, which all of this technology is not an advancement. It really is a regression because you're going to have a lot more control on you, right? All of these cars are coming with speed limiters, right? They got uh, cameras within the car that could, and this ain't, this ain't no conspiracy. You could check it out on, on any car site. You can go into a, a dealership and ask him, look, have you got speed limiters on this car? And they'll tell you, yeah, there's, there's a system of reading the the, the, um, the speed limit. With, and this is a law that they're going to pass out here. I believe it's in the U EU and they might uh, be out here within the UK. Uh, but certainly in the EU, they're going to have um, uh, the car read the road ahead to see what's the maximum speed. And that's all the car's going to do. OK. And then once the car says, look, you've done your daily quarter of, um, of driving, you've got to go back home. <laughs> This is the future Esau's getting ready to set up within the earth, man. It's a whack-ass world, man. Um, so we've just seen the price of EVs. But what we're demonstrating here is um, Congo is one of the poorest places out there. And when you see here, of, of the countries in the world, this is the top 10 poorest country. So you should already be having some precepts in your head right now, of which one of the questions you'll be, you be answering with those precepts is, hold on a minute, how be it you got this... The biggest consumable good that a person can buy, which is a car, right? That's a consumable good, right? A car is a consumable good. All right, the biggest consumable, co co uh, uh, the average, the big biggest consumable product an average person can buy is a car. 
And you got it to where the Congo is a major proponent in, in the production of the, the future of these cars. And they got, the, they got Jake out there, which a lot of those Congolese, they're Israelites. They got Jake out there slaving, man. They got Jake out there slaving. I'm going to get back to the video in a second, but they got Jake out there slaving. Um, let's go into here. It says, like slave and master. Yeah, because nothing's changed, man. See, Esau practices a, a, a thing called public relations. They go to the thing called public relations. And they know how to deceive you with their media into believing that he's the good guy. They got the Bill of Gates out there on the TV trying to trying to basically deceive you into believing that he's the good guy. He's the great savior of our, of the problems that we've got within the world. Him and his technology are going to be able to, you know, save us from from, from our woes. Which, when you see, when you really see how these how these people go on. And the impact of, of their decisions, not their decisions, but the imp impact of their plans, really come to the realization that this this guy is the guy that's in rulership, and he don't give two shits about a guy that's a, in a slave position to him. They don't care about you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. They don't care about you Jakes out there throughout the four corners of the earth. <laughs> the heathens, they don't. They're not concerned about you. They ain't concerned about humanity. They ain't concerned about the planet. What they're trying to do is to establish their birthright, which was what was given unto them by Isaac, the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, the 37th verse, where with the scripture saith unto I, uh, from Isaac that Esau was going to have the fatness of the earth and he was going to break the yoke from Jacob's neck. Meaning to say that when Esau was going to have the power, we was going to be in slavery underneath him. Job 9, uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And then now they're trying to prolong their rulership using their technology. Okay, they're trying to subvert the prophecies using their technology, which is the sword. A Congolese worker described a system of abuse, uh, precarious un un employment, and paltry wages, of which they were saying they get paid like 30, 30 cents a day. <laughs> and we're gonna see some of these videos now. What we have to what we have to understand about some of these videos is it's it's a bit you know it's a bit staged. Some of it is a bit staged, All right? But you can extrapolate that it could, it's probably worse, All right? All to power the green vehicle revolution uh the name's tesla of which i mean I, I mean i don't know what the ins and outs of how they got that particular name and whether the the, the people because they stole that name right everyone associates elon musk with with tesla but that's not his surname okay so i don't know what the ins and outs um that it was between him and the, uh, him and the because that's the actual family name nicholas tesla which he actually had a, a way of having free energy within the world actual green energy within the world Right, but Edison being the devil that he was, he said, Look, we ain't gonna have that. Can't make no money. You can't control nobody if they can get everything for free. What are you telling me I can I don't have to go to work? You're telling me I don't I don't have to um I don't have to go out there and, and work for somebody, I could just live a good life by myself. I got free energy, I got I got a, a, a ranch. What do I need to go, you know, speak speak to other people for? So, anyways, going back onto the point, yeah, they probably just stole that name. Right, which um, you know, I think that's interesting. Uh, continuing here with this article, he says that he has never heard of an electric car, right? But as he heads out to work each morning, right? So this is a particular individual out here, Pierre. Uh, as he heads out to work each morning in the bustling, dusty town of uh, Fungremi in in a DRC southern mining belt, he's the first. He's the first link in the supply chain. So. You know, they're just setting the story up there. And let's see if they got some visuals here. So I think maybe that's that's how much they get they get paid or whatever. Pierre is not working as an artisanal mine, however. He's employed via a subcontractor, right? And you you know you know when people say Esau uses middlemen, okay, he pays off middlemen. This is another story of that. Those particular middlemen, they ain't got no problem with those middlemen. Right, because they're part of the problem. They're part of the. They're part of the uh, the plan. Use the middlemen, get the prices down cheap, right, and then uh, we'll buy it off of you. And they ain't doing nothing to stop this, okay? They ain't doing nothing to stop this. Here it is. They got all of this talk. It ain't no secret. This is on the BBC. You know, the, the Guardian. Sorry, but the video we we'll be watching is on the BBC. This ain't no secret that the the, the people that's at the bottom of this chain, the, the, you know, the first part of this chain, is uh is living dirt poor, okay? But they call it a green revolution. Some damn devil, man. Um, I may have uh, I've forgotten a few points I wanted to make on that. But let's go back to watching this video. I'm going to get some precepts. Okay, I may have lost my train of thought there. Um, but certainly we can watch this. Everything I would have said is going to be shown with this particular video in a second. So let's play this. And we're going to get some precepts in a second. And 
captured whether or not the rush is on for a mineral the DRC has in great abundance, cobalt, and it's fast becoming more precious than gold. It's a critical ingredient in lithium-ion batteries which power smartphones and laptops. Okay. An army of children are at the heart of the mining production. Wearing no shoes and in the most wretched conditions, Dawson is ordered to retrieve the sack he's forgotten. And, and, and like the article said, half of these people, they ain't never even been in, 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 a, in an electric car. They ain't never had a laptop or a phone or anything like that. Okay? Half of them probably have never had a, an electric bulb. They probably don't live in some hut somewhere. And if you see these the facial expressions on these individuals, you can clearly tell they're jakes, by the way. So... That should be something to think about when, when you're watching this video. We ain't watching some ham ice. Because I met, I, met I met a lot of Congolese. And they better believe it. They're straight up Jakes, man. They're straight up Israelites. They're straight up Israelites. Okay. But when you see these people, you ain't seeing some Bush people. This ain't some Hamedic individuals. These, these are the children of Israel. Okay. These are the children of Israel. They might be ham, uh, Hamite mixed here and there. But these are the children of Israel that you're seeing for the most part. Let's continue. Urgency now. The rains make this dangerous work even more risky. And Dawson's told in no uncertain terms he risks a beating if he messes up again. Dawson, with Richard beside him, have worked all day. They're eight and eleven years old. Even this punishing work doesn't guarantee enough for food. Dawson hasn't eaten for two days now. This is what helpless looks like. And he's one of the children making millions for multinational corporations in America and China whilst they suffer in squalor. Yeah, you, for don't, this. you don't hear you don't you don't hear this guy Elon Musk with all of his millions, if not billions, talking about um you know the impact of his um of his business. They don't speak about that. They speak about the green, 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 greenness of their decision, right? The green, green, greenness of their um of their enterprise, right? Because it's all it's all it's all a farce, man. All right, it's all it's all a lie. Okay, let's continue here. They'll get maybe eight British pence a day. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so they got this. they got they got they got Jake out here waiting. You know, little kids working for eight p, bro. Eight <laughs> p. <laughs> Damn, bro. You're telling me a multi-billion dollar company cannot 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 give you more than eight p. The tunnels are dug by hand with no supports. They frequently collapse, especially during rain. The miners climb down using holes carved in the rock and no safety equipment. This most precious of minerals is often extracted and sorted by tiny hands. They don't wear gloves or masks, yet the World Health Organization says exposure to cobalt and breathing in its dust fumes can cause long-term health problems. You see, you know, you we see visited... Hypocrisy, right? we we got to put a mask on out here. we got to put a mask on out here, but to hell with them Congolese, right? Let's see the... Um, the city impact of this uh, long, you know, exposure to cobalt. It says here, asthma-like allergies, um, skin irritants, shortness of breath, uh, chest tightness. Um, let's see, long-term exposure, which I had prepared a little bit earlier on. Where did I have it? believe it was saying um you can have long term um heart problems right uh paleness weakness fatigue loss of appetite weight loss uh cobalt is toxic to the heart muscles it can cause heart muscle disease toxic cardiomyopathy after too much exposure which i mean come on if that's what you're digging out the ground, what do you think is going to happen? Let's go to the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter. Uh, Habakkuk. Let's 
Where is it? Habakkuk, the second chapter. Um, fourth verse. Behold, his soul which is in him is lifted up. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright, but it just shall live by faith. Yet also he transgressed by wine, right? The, 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 the philosophies that he has out here, which he's going to use every idea, whether it be the, 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 um, the planet so-called warming up, toxic air, whatever the situation is. He's going to use every, every emotional, anything that you could peg any emotional um, weight on in order to try and uh, push this agenda forward. He is a proud man, either keepeth the home, who enlarges his desires as hell, and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. But gathereth unto himself all people, but he with unto himself all people. You see that? Um, let's get another scripture. Um, I mean, I suppose, you know, that, 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 that pretty much does it, man. He's his desires are as hell and cannot be satisfied, and he's as deaf. But gather from to himself all people. So that's what you're seeing throughout the four corners of the earth. Now we had an example there where it's Jake, but you got other people out there suffering too. But you know, we only care about our own people for the you know, when it comes down to it. So that's the video with that I'm gonna say, Oh praise on Tia Bashima, Shai Bashima Kaha Kodash, double honors on the apostles of great millstone and honest brothers that be pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.